Good morning, folks. We're watching the progression of the South Polar Crown solar tornado. We've got weather phenomena and top science news today as we start with the solar wind. It continued providing minor variations over the last day and resulted in another brief period of geomagnetic instability early this morning. We are still awaiting corona hole stream impact and a faint CME, and we nearly avoided having another one aimed our way. Central eruptive action managed to be contained within the corona, gladly, because it was strong and fast as you can see here in 193 angstroms with a violent whip of the plasma. We did get some more M-class solar flare events, one of which appears to have messed with the GOES satellite as it went down for a while during the flare. That limb sunspot is departed now, but we still have the large group on the south. Silent so far, but still complex geometrically and magnetically. Eyes on it. We're off to Pakistan where the record flooding this summer continues worldwide. Thousand year floods have hit several times in the United States and elsewhere. This one representing the worst natural disaster in Pakistan for decades. Let's go to James Webb where a combination with Hubble images of the Phantom Galaxy are proving incredible to see. The infrared power of Webb is eye candy all on its own and it's even better in the combined image of optical light from Hubble. Next, we're going to the ionosphere and space weather impact. The instantaneous forcing potential we've seen before across the electrical layer of the atmosphere is continuing to be described and understood, intimately related to the penetrating fields from near the auroral zone, which push the energization and disruption towards the equator. It does indeed make its way down to the geographic and geomagnetic equator as the 2017 storm is shown to have seriously worked the equatorial ionosphere fountain phenomena part of the critical energy exchange components of our atmospheric and global capacitor action. This global ionospheric impact is one of the ways the entire atmosphere is touched by the global electric circuit during inclement space weather, and you can learn more about that in our latest book, Quick Look, at page 40 here detailing the major studies on that instant forcing from the 2022 Observer Supplement, which has more scientific evidence of solar climate forcing and the cyclical catastrophe of Earth than any other book ever written. Find links to all of our books and more below the video in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.